I'd like now to experiment with Michael Harding's new amethyst colour. It's a transparent red purple, very rich, deep velvety purple colour. So as I spread it across the palette you can see the richness and as I spread it a bit thinner you can see that lovely warmth starts to come through. To begin with I'll just put it with a tiny bit of a nice cold titanium white so that we can get an idea of how it looks in higher values. And there it is, just a really purple purple, it's lovely. If I try it with a warmer light, say um, the new lead tin yellow lemon, we'll see what we get with this one. A much warmer mix here. I would have expected it to grey slightly given that the yellow is the opposite of purple, but it's not. It's just retaining a real rich warmth to it. Beautiful colour there very useful colour. You could see that in still life, you could see it certainly in portraiture. Um, a nice warm mid-value. So we'll try it with some more unusual colours. I think I'm going to experiment and see what happens if I put it with Michael's new Cobalt Teal, which is one of my favourite colours. See what happens here. Ooh. It's quite dark, but we're getting a really lovely blue-purple there bit more of the teal, see where we go. Beautiful, deep, soft blue. Really lovely colour. These are exciting, they're dark-ish values, they're not terribly dark. Um, the opacity of the cobalt teal has just lifted the value a bit there. But they're really rich and colourful. Colourful darks. It's good. I'm also going to try it with something more neutral and see what happens with uh, raw sienna. The warmth of the two colours there makes a gorgeous, rich, autumnal red aubergine. It's making some really exciting colours. Colours that I don't often find in my paintings, they don't come up that often. It's, it's making some beautiful mixes here. If I wanted something really hot, I think I'd probably mix it with the new Quinacridone Rose, which is a very hot pink, just to see what we get there. Perfect for flowers, if you're painting fuchsias or hot summer flower colours. That's lovely. If I add a little bit of white, you'll see the strength of that pink there. Very useful for flower paintings little spots of local colour really to lift a painting. So the amethyst seems to be able to go warmer and cooler and lighter and darker and still always retain quite a rich warmth to it. It's going to be quite a useful mid-purple. <laughs> 